1.2.4, raising awareness and educating the general public about new power projection technology. Educate and inform the whole mass of the people. They are the only sure reliance for the preservation of our liberty. Thomas Jefferson. For whatever reason, society might struggle to accept the national strategic security implications of an emergency emerging power projection technology, the answer to overcoming these barriers seems to be the same. Raising awareness and educating the public. If a society is too domesticated, i.e. too passive or separated from the business of physical confrontation to understand the dynamics of physical power projection, or they feel inclined to reject the theory based on ideological reasons, this barrier can be mitigated by raising more awareness and educating the pu public. If the public is suffering from systemic level analytical bias or they're struggling, struggling to reconcile cognitive dissonance associated with a potentially disruptive power projection technology, this barrier can be mitigated by raising more awareness and educating the public. To that end, the primary justification for the, this research is to provide more information about the possible national strategic security implications of an emerging power production technology called Bitcoin. A simple definition of Bitcoin is that it's the world's most widely adopted open source proof of work computer protocol to date. Proof of work is a new type of computing protocol which enables users to keep cyber resources, i.e. software and the corresponding bits of information managed by that software, secure against attacks, not just by using encoded logical constraints, but by imposing severe physical costs on computers. Whereas most computer systems are while, whereas most computer systems only use encoded logical constraints to keep themselves secure against systemic exploitation, i.e. hacking, proof-of-work systems like Bitcoin use real-world physical power, i.e. watts, to keep cyber resources physically secure against attack by imposing severe physical cost, as measured in watts, on belligerent actors. Based on a theoretical framework, Developed and presented in this thesis called Power Projection Theory, the author hypothesizes that Bitcoin is not strictly a monetary technology, but the world's first globally adopted software protocol that could transform the nature of power projection in the digital age and possibly even represent a vital national strategic priority for U.S. citizens to adopt as quickly as possible. 1.3 background war is merely the continuation of policy with other means carl von clausewitz 1.3.1 modern warfare 101 the author recognizes that many readers do not have expertise or training in modern military theory Therefore, before proceeding into a detailed theoretical discussion about the potential national strategic security implications of proof-of-work technologies like Bitcoin, it might be beneficial to establish a common understanding of the profession of warfighting and briefly elaborate on the soft war neologism. For this, the author turns to one of the most respected modern military theorists, General Karl von Clausewitz. In the early 1800s, General Clausewitz examined the nature of war and defined it as a trinity with three distinct characteristics. First, war is comprised of the same blind natural forces of primordial violence observed in nature. Second, war contains the play of chance and probability rewarding creative spirits. Third, war is an instrument of national policy 
used to resolve political disputes. Clausewitz explained of warfare. Clausewitz's explanation of warfare is noteworthy for several reasons. First, the first is because it acknowledges warfare as a primordial phenomenon, something that has existed since the beginning of life on Earth. If we were to combine this observation with what we now understand about biology, we could, we could note that physical power competitions like warfare predate humans by billions of years. Physical power competitions play an essential role in evolution as well as the establishment of natural dominance hierarchies, including but not limited to, ev to human dominance hierarchies. Physical power competitions can be observed in every corner of life at every scale, helping organisms of all kinds solve the exit ex existentially important problem of establishing a pecking order over Earth's limited resources. The second reason why Clausewitz's definition of war is noteworthy is because how the natural forces levied during war are intrinsically blind. In other words, physical power competitions are completely unbiased, indiscriminate, and exogenous to people's belief systems. Based on what we now understand about physics, we note that the natural forces to which Clausewitz refers are, for, are forces displacing mass to generate physical power, aka watts. These watts are most often generated kinetically through newtons of force displacing kilograms of mass. We can independently and empirically validate from our own personal experiences that watts are indeed blind. They don't appear to show favoritism or have a discernible, any discernible prejudices. They have no known capacity for misrepresentation and favoritism and have they have no known capacity for misinterpretation and all things appear to be subordinate to them, including and especially the people at the top of existing dominance hierarchies who enjoy high rank wealth and social status. Third, Clausewitz's Trinity acknowledges war as a game of probability, the outcome of which favors creative spirits. War could therefore be described as not just an indiscriminate physical power competition, but a probabilistic one, a.k.a. a lottery. Moreover, winning the power lottery is not merely about finding ways to amass larger quantities of physical power. It is about combining people's intelligence to utilize physical power in the most creative and innovative ways possible. Why? As an instrument of international policy making, particularly when resolving international policy disputes. It was from this point of view that Clausewitz made the aphorism for which he is famous. War is merely the continuation of policy with other means. What Clausewitz meant by this statement is that even though war is inherently destructive, nations do not go to war merely for the sake of demonstrating their capacity for destruction. Instead, nations seek to utilize blind natural forces as an alternative means to resolve international policy disputes. In other words, war is a mechanism for nations to settle policy disputes using physical power, aka watts, rather than a court of law because the former is perfectly indiscriminate while the latter is not.